Hi, my name is Joanna and I work at KMAC Museum. We're a contemporary art museum in Louisville, Kentucky on Museum Row in downtown Louisville. We believe in connecting people to art and the creative practice. And even though I'm working from home and you all are making from home, I still feel like we can connect uh, to learn a little bit about the art that we can find every day. Um, so I would like to make two crafts with you today, and both of them are made using things that you can find around your house. And both of them involve using magazines. So hopefully you all have some magazines that are just lying around. You can also use newspaper as well. Um, and the first project we're going to make together is a book. And I love accordion books because I think that they are really fun and they're surprising. You can make them in lots of different sizes. And these accordion books are made using an envelope, which are also hopefully things that you can find around your house. The second project, also using magazines that I would like to make with you, is jewelry. So I wonder, how are we going to make jewelry out of magazines. Well, we're going to turn our magazines into beads. Um, this is a necklace that I purchased when I lived in Africa. Here's another one. I really like this one because it has paper beads, but it also has metal beads. Here's a bracelet. And these beads were, and the necklaces and the bracelets were made by women that worked together um, at a center to learn a craft that they could make a living off of. So they would make these necklaces and sell them in the market. So I was really excited to have examples for myself. So we're going to start with our books. I'm going to tell you all the materials that you're going to need to make a book with me. And then we'll pause if you want to and make it with me, or you can just watch and make it later. So what you're gonna need are envelopes. So I would suggest three or four envelopes. If you have two envelopes, that will be fine. And it doesn't matter if your envelope is big, if your envelopes are small or medium or what color they are, but I would suggest that you have multiples that are the same size because that will make a better book, all right? So you need envelopes, two, three, four, or 10, however big you want your book to be. You're gonna need some magazines, newspapers. If you don't have magazines or newspapers, you can decorate your book with markers, pens, pencils, anything. You're gonna need glue. I have a glue stick, you can use white glue, maybe you have wood glue at home, whatever glue you have, it'll probably work fine on our envelopes. You'll probably need some scissors for your size, these are big because I'm a big person. This craft is for any ages also, so if you're an adult you'll have fun doing it, if you're a kid you'll have fun doing it, you just might need some help. And if you want to get extra fancy, and collage, you can have an X-Acto knife, but I'm not even going to do that today. I'm just gonna use my scissors. So if you wanna gather up those things, remember envelopes, magazines, or things to decorate with, glue, and scissors. You can go get those. Pause me now if you want. Okay, so I'm gonna get start making mine. Ooh, here's a supply I did not tell you to get. But here's my table, and I don't want my table to get dirty, so I'm going to put a scrap piece of paper down to work on top of. You could also use some newspaper. All right, so I've got my scrap paper here, and then I need to get my envelopes. Now, I'm going to use colored envelopes because it's going to be easier for you all to see what I'm doing if I use colored envelopes. And what's really great about these envelopes is they came with cards. So I'm actually gonna use these cards, but 
you can really use whatever you want to. Um, so again, here are my envelopes, and here's our example. We're going to connect all of our envelopes so that we have a book that folds like an accordion that has a front and a back, and at each page has a surprise. Because inside, because it's an envelope, we get to pull out the pages. Which is pretty cool. You know what? I have some examples of some really cool books because maybe you've never thought about how a book can be art. Um, so I've got this really cool book, Artists and Their Books, Books and Their Artists, and um, I can flip through here and show you some really cool books that are art in themselves. So this artist, whose name is Terry Bronstein has made some really cool books. Um, there are collages, again, where they, the artist has taken materials, cut them up, and glued them together to make her own stories. We've also, let's see, I'm going to find a good one. I had some marked, and then I took my markings out. This is a fun one. This book over here, uh, the pages aren't bound together. They're just loose inside of a box. That's definitely something you can make from home. Um, this is my favorite one, I think, in the book. It's an origami book. So books can come in lots of different forms. You can be creative as you want to with your book. All right, so here are my supplies again. Okay, I think I'm going to start out with the cover of my book and I think I want my book to be the purple cover first and then I think it's going to go green. So I'm going to start out with my two envelopes and I'm going to lay my envelopes down so that the flaps are open. But I'm going to take this one over here, I'm going to take my purple one and both my arrows pointing in the same direction, I'm just going to flip this one over. So I have one, the top is facing me and one the bottom is facing me. I'm going to line up this purple triangle right on top. I don't know if you guys can tell, there's kind of lines right here to the bottom of this envelope as it's open. I'm going to line it up. So if I flipped it over, the seams would match and I could flap this up and down. Okay, so now that I've lined that up, I'm going to do it with glue this time. I'm going to take my glue stick. I'm going to put glue where I know that triangle is going to overlap. I'm going to slide this back up there. And I'm going to glue it down. And the reason this book works is because you're able to close it again. So you're going to make sure that your bottom lines up with the crease in your envelope. Okay, so I'm gonna keep building. I'm gonna go with my light green next. Okay, so both of these are open, flaps pointing this way. I'm gonna take this one, because this is where I started with my purple. Flip it over, still both arrows pointing this way. Line up those triangles. I'm gonna glue this next one down. So now I formed a pattern upside, oh sorry, bottom of the envelope, top of the envelope, bottom of the envelope. When I fold it all together, it folds into a book. All right, I'm going to add one more just to show you again. I'm going to take my envelope, both pointing this way, both flaps facing me. Same side I keep gluing, I'm going to flip over. Put my glue where I know my triangle is going to overlap and press this down. And now I can keep folding. I have a book that I can read this way, but I can also read this way, which is really cool. Now, what is even more extra special 
is whenever I open, I can stick things inside of the envelope to make pages. And I can do that to both sides. So this is the beginning of my book. It's good to get your structure together first um, before you start to decorate. So this book is really cool. It's been decorated with stamps. Um, this is washi tape, which is fun. You could also use markers and then collage, um, which we've done by finding a magazine and then cutting out things um, that you like or maybe your book has a special theme. So if you're making this book, say for Mother's Day, maybe you will do things your mother likes, or maybe since I have this travel magazine, my book is gonna be about travel and the places that I'd like to go. So then I would look through here. Maybe I really like this place. I decide. cut out my picture. And then, you know, you could do this two ways. You could collect a lot of pictures and then lay it out throughout your book to decide what you like the best, or you can just go for it. You can take your picture, decide, where you want to put it. Use your glue stick. Glue that down. You know what? I have this pen. Maybe I might want to draw on my book. do designs, and then on the inside of the envelope, I could write a story or I could put some more pictures. So that is how you make your envelope accordion book. Um, and collage again is when you find images, you cut them out and you put them all together. They can overlap, they don't have to, your book can be crazy or it can be simple. So I hope you had fun doing that book with me. If you'd like to stick around and learn how to make some beads to make a necklace, a bracelet, um, a keychain, uh, stick around and I'll tell you what supplies you need next. So if you need to clear off your space, go ahead and pause me now. Okay, I'm gonna tell you what supplies we need to make our paper beads. Again, we're gonna need some magazines or newspapers also work. We're gonna use a lot of glue. You can use this, maybe of Mod Podge at home, maybe of white glue, all of that will work. You're definitely gonna use your scissors. You're going to need string if you are going to put your beads on a bracelet. Maybe you just want to make your beads and save them, but if you want to build them into something, you're going to need string, and they're going to need something to wrap the newspaper or the magazine around to make your beads. So I have two objects here. This is a shish, shish kebab stick. And so some of you guys may make shish kebabs at home, so you may have one of these. Be careful, one side is pointy. Um, you can use a toothpick. This will make a very skinny bead. So the hole that the bead has for your thread will be as big as the object you wrap it around. So this string is really skinny, so this toothpick would be fine. This string is a little bit thick, so a shish kebab stick would be better. If you don't have either of those, you could use a pencil. It just means your hole is pretty big. If you like to be precise, 
You might want to use a ruler or something straight. Okay, I'm keeping my scrap paper here on the table so that I don't get anything dirty. This one we're going to use a lot of glue. Okay, so how do we make a bead? Well, you guys can see right here, I have laying out in front of me a triangle. We're actually going to cut out triangles from magazines that we are going to roll up to be a bead. However wide the bottom of your triangle is, is how long your bead is going to be. So this triangle looks pretty skinny, but in reality it's going to make a bead that's about this wide. If you want to do a smaller bead, your triangle's base is going to have to be a lot smaller. Or you can make really big beads. It's totally up to you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look through my magazine and I'm going to find some colors. Now, if I were to cut a triangle out of this page of my magazine, my bead would be mostly dark green and blue. I don't know if I want mine to be that dark. Let's see. I could keep flipping the same. I could make an all black bead. Oh, I like this one. This is blue and green. So I think I'm going to use this page. Now, this is a template or a stencil. I made this out of just a box that I had laying around. And it's cardboard, so it's not flimsy, and I can use it over and over again. So if you want to cut a template, you can do that out of a cardboard piece, or you can just use your ruler or maybe another magazine as a straight edge to draw your triangle. So I can do that. I can lay my magazine here. Oh, I forgot to tell you, you're gonna need a pen. This is important. We're gonna have to draw our triangles and pens are easiest on magazines news, uh, and newspapers. Pencils don't work too well and markers will rub off and get your hands um, colored. So I'm gonna take a pen and you guys can see this line, I think. So I can draw a triangle this way or I can use my template, make sure that my point is on here, and I'm going to draw my triangle. So either of those ways will work. Um, again, if you have an X-Acto knife at home and you are a responsible person that can use this without hurting yourself, go for it. But I'm going to use some scissors. I'm going to cut my triangles out. So I have a triangle. Now, if I want these colors to be on the outside of my bead, I'm going to have to flip this triangle over. And notice how the thick or flat part of the triangle is facing me and the point is facing away from me because I'm going to roll from me to the point. I'm going to use my shish kebab stick because I want my hole to be a little bit bigger. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay the shish kebab stick here at the end of my triangle. I'm going to take my glue stick and I'm going to rub glue all the way down to the tip of my triangle. And this is why working on a surface uh, that you can throw away later because it's going to get a lot of glue on it. So if you are a, have tiny hands, you may need some help with this part of the project. But what I'm going to do, and I'll show you kind of up close, so I'm going to take my paper, I'm going to fold it over my shish kebab stick, and I'm going to start to roll. So I'll show you down here. And I'm going to take, and I'm going to slowly roll up to the point of my triangle. Q. 
keeping that point in the middle so that you can have color on your left and right. Just gonna keep rolling, rolling, rolling until I've rolled up the whole thing. Uh-oh, gonna add some more glue to the very tip. And it should slide off. There's a hole on one end of the bead. It's pretty nice color. Very similar to this one. And you can make as many of these as you want. This is a fun craft to do while you're watching a movie or watching a TV or listening to a podcast or listening to music. And you can relax and kind of do the same movement over and over again, um, which I find meditative and nice, especially when I'm feeling overwhelmed or anxious. Just to do something repetitive gets me out of my head. And once you're done, you would take your string and just poke it through and bead as many beads as you want and create whatever kind of jewelry or really cool thing that you want to. So I hope you had fun with me today. I had a fun time making this video and I'm glad that I got to share with you two really cool things that you can make with what you have around your house. So I hope you all are having a great morning and well, whenever you're watching this, I hope it's a good day and I hope to see you back at the museum soon. And I'd love to make art with you in person. Um, but if not, you can go to kmacmuseum.org. We have lots of activities, coloring sheets, and you can even see some pictures of our past exhibitions. It was nice to meet you all again. I'm Joanna. I work at KMAC Museum. Uh, we believe art is the big idea, and I wish you all well. <laughs>